Hi, my name is Rachel with Gentle Frog. In today's video of Custom QuickBooks Training, I'm going to show you how to receive a customer deposit or credit on their account. For this example, I'm using QuickBooks Desktop 2020. This would work in most of your desktop products. This is the second of two ways that I'm making a video. This is the second of two ways to apply a customer credit to their account. If you're not sure which way is appropriate for you, please reach out to me, your bookkeeper, or your tax preparer. We would be happy to help you determine what makes the most sense for your individual situation. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an invoice that goes toward a liability account and then how to relieve that liability account. This is most often used for bigger projects such as construction, but I really want you to see how it's done just in case it applies to you. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the account. So I'm going to go to the top of my menu. I'm going to go to the top menu and click on lists and then go down and chart of accounts. I'm going to create a liability account, so I'm going to go to account at the bottom of my screen and click on new. I'm going to choose other account types and then choose other current liability. This is a security deposit or retainer from customer. I'm going to click continue. All right, so I'm going to give this account name. I'm going to say customer deposit. I'm not going to make individual deposit accounts, although we certainly could if I wanted to. I'm going to say save and close. I'm going to make an item. Items are the drop downs that appear on your invoices. I'm going to make an item that links to this account called customer deposit. So I'm going to click on list on the top menu bar and then go down to item list. I'm going to go to the bottom where it says item, click on it and then select new. I'm going to call it a service. Um, the item name or number, I'm going to call it deposit, um, deposit on account. This is a deposit collected on an account. The rate's going to be blank because it's going to vary customer to customer how much deposit they're giving us for whatever we're doing. For the account, I'm going to say this is going to be linked to my deposit, uh, my customer deposit liability account. So what I'm telling it is when I create an invoice and I select the drop down item deposit on account, it's not income yet. I haven't yet earned the money. This is a deposit someone's paying me for a job. I want that money to go into the liability account called customer deposit. So that's what I'm selecting here. I'll choose OK. So let me make an invoice and show you where it shows up in reports so that it starts to make sense for you. I'm going to go to the top and click on customers. I'm going to go down to create invoice. I'm going to use Rachel the customer as my example. Quantity of one. And then I'm, I'm going to pick that item I just made. So I'm going to pick deposit on account. And then I'm going to ask Rachel the customer to pay a deposit of $1,000. I'm going to say save and close. So what I want to show you is where it shows up and where it doesn't show up. So we'll start with where it does not show up. It does not show up on the profit and loss report. So when I look at the profit and loss, I don't see the $1,000 that I've just invoiced. When I go to the balance sheet, however, I will see the $1,000. So here it is on the balance sheet, customer deposit in the liability section. What that's telling us is that we have received $1,000 from our customer, um, but it's not our money yet. So it's liability. It's money that we owe someone or we're holding on behalf of someone. So when Rachel, the customer, starts to use the, uh, use the deposit that she's paid, it's going to move out of the liability account and turn into income. I'm going to go to customers on the top, go down to create invoice, and then we'll say Rachel, the customer. Rachel, the customer, prepaid $1,000 for training. And now it's time to generate that training invoice. So I'm going gener to generate the invoice for $1,000. But I'm going to say, you know what? I want to apply the deposit that she's already paid me. 
So I'm going to pick the item deposit on account. And then I'm going to say negative $1,000. Oops, negative 1000 Because what I want to do is I want to say, please take the $1,000 I was previously given and apply it to this invoice where I've provided services. So she has $0 due. She previously paid me $1,000. I'm currently invoicing $1,000. Those two turn into $0. I'm going to click Save and Close. When I look at my balance sheet now, I can see that I don't have $1,000 sitting down here in my liability section for customer deposit. That's good. I'm going to verify the $1,000 is now showing up over here, and it is. So when I look at my profit and loss, I can see my consulting income is $1,165. I can double click on that number to verify why it's $1,165. I can see it's these various services that have been provided as well as the invoice for $1,000. If you have any questions about customer prepayments, customer deposits, QuickBooks desktop, etc., please don't hesitate to let me know. Please leave a note in the comments or go ahead and send me an email. I'm happy to help. Thank you so much.